a really easy way to kind of save all your layers in order to, I don't know, like apply a color grade to another set of images that you're working on or pretty much anything really. Um, and today I kind of want to talk about that because there's, you know, different ways of taking a set of layers like this and applying it to a, a set of images like this. But I want to show you one other way. And I think you're going to like this method a lot. And we recently released this uh, plugin called Infinite Retouch. And it's a, a plugin that you can use for your workflow. It has a bunch of tools that help you along in your workflow, like setting up layers easily, uh, different frequency separation methods that would make it easy to kind of add that and put that in there in your workflow and different dodge and burn methods, including our new infinite dodge and burn, which makes dodge and burn more accurate. So there's a bunch of things you could do. And if you're curious about that, please visit the link in the description. It's infinite-tools.com. But specifically, I want to show you one function that is the core of this plugin, and that's being able to highlight and save layers. The great thing is that this was initially used in order for us to highlight, say, a workflow set. So if you're trying to heal and clone and then dodge and burn and then color grade on top of that or color correct, you can just highlight the layers, save them. And then whenever you hit create, it just generates those layers again for you to start off your retouching process. However, that functionality is something we use beyond the create button. There's a section here called user and where you can save your own layers and name them whatever you want. So for example, a uh, working demonstration here is that my friend Arbany is a model of mine that I shot here in uh, Phoenix, and I'm trying to color grade this image. And although it looks pretty good off the bat, I kind of, you know, would like to add a little bit of umph to the photograph. So I use infinite color here to quickly just color grade this. And uh, if you're not familiar with this, I'll also link this in the description. But basically, it allows you to just um, shop for different colors. If you're not sure what color grade you want, you just simply hit create and it kind of creates another color grade for you automatically and uh, kind of like this. So that actually looks pretty good too. And if I don't like that, I hit Command Z and kind of just go back to whatever it is that I'm you know, going for. But uh, if I go back you know, two times like that, it goes back to the color grade that was two steps back, etc. So anyways, I have uh, my folder here. I'm going to close this out for a second. I have my folder here for infinite color. And what I want to do is I want to apply this to these two other images. Well, here's what I'm going to do here really quick. I am going to actually just rename this to say color grade like that. And uh, I am going to highlight all these layers here and uh, the group itself. And I'll come over to my infinite retouch. And where it says user, I'll scroll down and click on plus. And I'll say right click for setup. And I'll just say uh, color grade. I don't know. I'll just call this like purple shadows because that's what it's kind of doing. And I'll say uh, save personal layer stack. All layers are saved. And say cool. I'll hit back. I'll click on the other image. Click go down. Click purple shadows. And then just like that, I'm able to save and apply the color grade. There we go. You can see here. It even cooler is it saves the opacity, it saves the name, it saves, you know, everything, it saves the planet, <laughs> it pretty much saves what you kind of want to save. So that's cool, you know, it allows you to do that. And if you decide that, you know what, oops, I actually meant to call this like, um, purple tones, like that, and then, uh, re and then call this like violet, you know, so it has all the violet layers, I can just simply do that again, right click purple shadows and say, save personal layer stack and it overrides whatever it was it was before so now if i just delete that really quick and then click on purple shadows you can see here it did everything that i wanted it to do so that's kind of cool these buttons are kind of adjustable so that they are never permanent and you don't have to redo everything again it makes things super super easy the only thing that um, this is really designed for is adjustment layers so if you have say adjustment layers or blank layers you are set if you have like a solid color, a uh, solid layer, for example, um, where you have a blank layer and you're painting in between like this, it won't save this. So basically these are called pixel layers. And if you're kind of just uh, brushing like this on a layer, it's not gonna save the contents of the blank layer. Okay, that's one thing to note. It's, um, or, or for like grain, for example, but we have our own little grain engine here, which is really incredible. Please check that out if you're interested in grain. But 
that's just a heads up. And uh, the only thing that it can't save adjustment layer wise is going to be the uh, color lookup layer, um, which is uh, where did it go? Here it is color lookup that won't be able to be saved as well. But other than that, if you're doing typical color grading work, you have blank layers you would like to save for your workflow purposes, you could do that. But that's pretty much how to go ahead and uh, save and apply a set of layers to any thing that you're working on. And if you're done with it and you don't want it again, you just right click on it and say delete the button. What's even more is that you can also go into your settings here and say backup in case you would like to have that on your system or send that to someone else. Because if you send that file to someone else, they can import it. So if you have a color grade you want to share within the infinite retouch kind of ecosystem, you can import people's color grades. So it makes it really, really handy. You can decide kind of what to also back up. Um, if I want to back up something, I can decide what to back up. And you can see here my little buttons. So I could just say purple shadows and save. And then people will import that. And you can then save and share all the color grades that you want with your friends and between computers or whatever. And again, uh, as I mentioned, it's free to download and try. These areas here that you are going to save does require the full version. Um, and it's uh, very cool, I think, and I think it's worth the purchase. But other than that, if you're interested in seeing other parts about Infinite Retouch, go to our website, join our group, check it out, come join the community. Even if you don't have it, I'd love for you to join us. And I hope that helped you and gave you a new way to uh, share your layers. And, you know, uh, last but not least, there's a ton of different ways in order to save and share layers. But uh hope this one was something that really, really stuck with you.